Hello again. So my name is Gwen Bowie and I've been doing CISSP for 20 years and I love talking about these questions. Let's do another one. So just remember, my goal is to help you with the questions, to help you find your way through questions, to look for keywords and be able to sort through what the author was actually talking about. It's less about the questions, so please forgive me if you don't like any of my questions. It's not about the actual questions and you'll never see them on the test, so not to worry. Right, but otherwise, we do want to look at how do you answer the question. So here's another one for you. Which of the following assurance mechanisms is most likely to provide continuous feedback about how well the access control systems are working? So test taking tip number one is what are the key words in the question? Key words I would say are continuous and assurance and feedback. Those are the ones that I like the most. Continuous assurance and feedback. Now looking at the answers, I don't know, jumping around, penetration testing. So a pen test is something where people come in and sit down and, well, maybe they come in, maybe, maybe not, could be from the outside. But nonetheless, pen testing is when people are actually sitting down somewhere behind a keyboard and starting to attack the systems, or they're actually doing social engineering, like at the local bar or pub, trying to get any information out of you, something like that. And it is not continuous. It could provide assurance that you do actually have good secure systems, or it'll actually provide assurance that you have holes in your systems because they got in and caused problems when you wanted them to check the systems. All right, so not so continuous. Security policy review. Security policy review. Now that one, same thing. You're going to have people sitting down. They're going to sit down with the policy if they want, they could have it on paper and a red pen in their hands, or it could be on a computer, on a tablet, and they're working through the text and trying to figure out what they like and what they don't like, and if it has all the right pieces, and it could be to review for an audit process, or it could be to review just because it's a normal process to go through and see what kind of security policies you actually do have, and are they current? But, hmm. B and C so far are done by people, and people tend to want to go home or go out and get a coffee or get lunch. It's not so continuous. Vulnerability assessments. Now, vulnerability assessment, you can actually have systems that are running continuously. I mean, you could do it with pen testing as well. You could have systems like Nmap or something running on your computer and testing the network to see what's there. It's going to provide assurance. It's gonna help you find problems in the system. It will give us feedback, but is it continuous? Is it continuous? Is this going to continuously tell me how my systems are working? And again, this is generally done by the people. People are gonna turn on those tools and they're gonna run them for a period of time, but it's not nonstop. For a short window of time, it would be running, but at some point you stop that process and you move back into just daily activities. We could come back to this and do it again sometime soon. We could hire somebody to do it sometime soon, but it's not nonstop. It's fundamentally, it's done by people. D, the intrusion detection system. I think the keyword there is system. It is a computer system. It's a purpose-built computer that has the sole goal of trying to figure out when you've had an intrusion into your system, whenever somebody's data is going through or whenever the attacker's data is going through. But it's a computer system. Last I checked, computers don't need breaks. You don't even have to say hello to your computer when you sit down in the morning to get your work done. It's just there, it's just always gonna be working. If you have to turn on a, like a light switch when you come into work to turn on the IDS, you got a problem. It is going to be on the network continuously. So continuous actually turns out to be the key word in this question. You have to find those key words. Without that piece, feedback assurance, you get feedback from all these different methods of doing things to check our security to find out how things are actually working within our business. But the continuous feedback that qualifies it, and we now have a computer system. Another way to look at this is trying to figure out who or what is doing this. Like I said, D is gonna be a computer system. It's purpose-built, but it's a computer. A, B, and C are all done by humans. I hire somebody to do a vulnerability assessment. I hire someone to do a penetration test. I hire somebody to do a security review. Whether they're my employees or not, I'm hiring these people to do this work to find out how things are working. So there's people behind A, B, and C, and D is not. It's just a computer that's on the network running all the time. So there you go. D is the best answer. You gotta find those keywords. All right, if this was helpful, give me a like, give me a follow, and I will keep doing these for you. You guys have a great day. See you next time.